All right, nerds, we're back for another beer review, and today from Hitachino Brewing, their Espresso Stout. If you remember, we did Hitachino a little while back. We did their Dai Dai IPA. Do I have that up here? Aha. Right here. So we did this one last time from Hitachino Nest. Kind of a mango IPA. Delicious, well-balanced, excellently, just executed very well. Excellently executed. Um, anyways, very well put together, very, very well balanced. When I seen this on the shelf, I had to, figured why not. So it comes in this, um, 11.2 ounce bottle and it comes in at 7%, which is like coffee stout, espresso stouts kind of come in, in about there. So Koichi Brewery, Hitachino Nest. Definitely looking forward to this on a brisk winter day. Let's crack it. Had it warming up for a little bit. And I figured I'd bring a smaller glass this time. Oh, look at that. Just pours, almost pours thick. Fantastic tan head. Anyways, brought a small glass to keep it warm. Warm up even more. So nice finger, finger and a half, tan head, brown head, just beautiful, love that. And absolutely black hole opaque beer. Beautiful stuff. Now apparently the Hitachino is more common than I thought. I think I talked about this in the last video when I reviewed them that. I'd never heard of it and I, thought, <laughs> I looked at reviews and I was like, oh, it's all over the place. I never looked at any reviews for this so I have no idea how it's going to be and I have no idea who imports this into Canada I'm pretty curious who brings some of these in but when I can find something cool I try something cool all right super dark let's get a whiff get some aroma oh it's uh boozy super boozy which is great mm, yeah boozy A little bit of like caramel toffee and then that coffee bitterness, that like cold coffee smell kind of coming at the end. Mmm, smells fantastic. But it smells super, again, not to reuse word, but boozy. You can smell the alcohol in here and it's sickly sweet. I just can't wait to try this. All right, cheers, friends. Mmm. Yeah. There's the espresso. There it is at the end. So it starts off creamy, frothy, like fancy coffee that I don't know the name of. Just, and then and then espresso at the end, but everything's just blasted and held up by the booze, by the alcohol percentage. It's really cool. So it's like that sweetness just from the alcohol essentially holding everything up and it's very good very well balanced but i guess that's what you express expect from these guys just well manufactured tasty not wild like not hard coffee not thir syrupy thick not too much molasses but sweetness bitterness the roastness from the coffee So beautifully roasted malts, obviously. Yes, yeah, like I said, it's like frothy and then sweet from the alcohol, and then just hits you, hits you in the face with that coffee. It's interesting because it's get, definitely getting into stout season. And you don't always want it to be hard coffee, but I mean, that's generally what you're going to get is that coffee, that espresso flavor. That roasted bean, almost like burnt. I get, I say how this stuff tastes uh, green sometimes. This tastes like burnt umber. Like it tastes black. It tastes dark brown. Yeah, I'm just going to repeat what I said. So I won't. It's a fantastic beer. 
excellent for a good winter day. Um, maybe a morning beer? Yeah, like when you wake up Boxing Day at like 10 a.m. Or winter Sunday or Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, uh, you know, you wake up late. And this will get your day going. It definitely, definitely will. Zero caffeine, you're going to need real coffee. But, um, it'll trick the brain. It'll definitely, definitely trick the brain, this fun stuff. Hit a Chino, espresso Stout. Again, if you can find these little guys on your shelves, if you can find this brewery, check, check it out. It's really, really good. It's something missing a little bit. Um, we talked about this with my friends the other day and about swinging us a beer and how it seems to be starting to go like that teeter totter, that pendulum starts to, is starting to slow down. So I think we're getting back to the good balance. You've seen it with West coast IPAs. You've seen the super like mega juicy fruit tree. Like you ate a fruit tree haze bombs kind of starting to go away. But then just like you've seen the, um, back then, like, the super hot bomb starting to go away and it swung that pendulum swung but hopefully that momentum starting to slow and this season might be a season of balance which we could all use a little bit in our lives a little normality nothing too wild just good beer good times good drinks all right so this was i'm sorry i'm gonna figure that out better because i keep looking at that i've noticed that in this video this is a hitachino espresso stout um Again, you can find us on all the social medias at Fermented Nerds. Please give us a big thumbs up. Hit the bell button to get notifications every time we post a video. There's going to be a lot in November and December, especially December. Every single day live video. Again, I mentioned this on my last review is that I'm aiming for one mountain, three Eastern um, time. So that would be like eight in England, seven, eight o'clock in England. So... After dinner, you're sitting down, tune in, watch my videos, or in the afternoon, tune in, watch my video. If you're in North America, uh, I would love it. We'll have comments going. I'll have my little iPad out here. Uh, excuse me. Why is my? Um, I'll have the iPad out so we can answer comments as we go. We'll do some fun stuff with that. Maybe we'll figure out. We'll have some fun games or something during it. Anyways, uh, social medias, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Fantastic beer today. Again, two in a row. Excellent, excellent beers. And with that said, I'm Wally. This is Fermented Nerds, and I'm out.